So, so my name is Andrea Williamson and I am a GP. Um, I'm also Professor of General Practice and Inclusion Health at the University of Glasgow. So what that means is that I see patients and I'm currently working in alcohol and drug recovery services in Glasgow, but also um, lead on teaching at the University of Glasgow and, um, and also um, do research in the field. And I'm also involved in quite a lot of policy things, um, and one of them being um, a founding member of GPs at the Deep End. So alcohol has a devastating impact um, on the patients, families and communities that I work in. Um, I've seen that over many years. Um, many of the patients that I work with, um, who are often alcohol dependent, um, Often they're alcohol dependent because they're using alcohol to escape and cope um, with really difficult life experiences, bad things that have happened in the past. Um, and and then the actual you know effects of alcohol and being alcohol dependent, um, it, it's very difficult for people and it's very difficult for families and communities around about them. Well, minimum unit pricing or, or MUP, as we often call it, it makes alcohol more expensive. Um, so... We, and we've now got really strong evidence that, that making alcohol more expensive means that people consume less, so they drink less alcohol. Um, so what that means for the patients' communities that I work in is that what we hope is that people will then be using less alcohol, which means that they have a longer time before alcohol starts to affect them both physically and, and psychologically. And that then means that there's a, a sort of better opportunity for people to get linked in with alcohol and care and treatment. So it's it's one of the many things, actually, but one of the really important things that, that can be done by us as society to support people better who are struggling with problem alcohol use.